Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, July 18, 2018. Look at that, our 1946 Chris Craft U-22 mahogany hulled sportsman is ready for reassembly. John has finished the wet sanding and the buffing and We're going to hand it off to John to talk about how we got from there to here. Take it away, John. Well, after I wax sanded the uh, bolt with starting with 600, going to 800, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, and then 5,000, um, then I started buffing with the uh, when you uh, let me break in when you were wet sanding you you went multiple passes around with many yes, of those I did grits the 600 I did three I did the, like three times over with the 600 and then uh, I did the 800 uh, twice over and then I started with 1000 1200 and when I got to the 1500 I was able to go over to the uh, orbital sander and wet sand with the orbital sander the 1500, 2000, 3000, and 5000. So, yes, many, many times over with sandpaper, and then we were able to start the buffing procedure. And uh, then I met many times over with a buffing compound. Uh, it's three times with a cutting compound, and twice with a finishing compound. And as a result, we've got a nice flat finish. And I'd say you've got, uh, well, why don't you just show us if you get down in front of that splash rail and we can find your, find your reflection. And you know it's flat when the reflection is true, when you don't have a bunch of ripples in the reflection. And there's John, there's two Johns. So it's been a long, long, long road, frustrating both for us and her owner as we've gone through this for well, I think we're well into the second year aren't we John? Yes, yeah and uh, so now John will hand her off to his baby off to us and RJ and I will begin assembly and soon she'll look like a Chris Craft again the shine is just incredible yeah it sure is uh, it is so smooth and so silky. We did not buff the ceilings. Uh, instead, uh, we installed them vertically in the shop and varnished them in that attitude so they stayed clean and we got a good glossy result. Uh, sanding, in sanding those ceilings installed like this would be just horrifically awful. Um, the aft deck shows the same shine, the same gloss, and then when we come down to the transom, I'd say that's that's all pretty special. We can't wait to start putting the hard the hardware on her. It won't be long before that engine's gonna bark in the bilge and she'll be on Lake Champlain romping for the first time in several years. So that's today's update. A very special one, a very great milestone on the 1946 right side. U-22 Sportsman from Chris Craft. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.